Okay, YouTubers, uh, this is uh, the black IPA that I brewed on the grandfather, and um, it has got 407 grams of hops, 7 kilos of grains in total. If you want to know the details, just uh, I'll post a link um, to my other YouTube video that you can um, uh, view um, the uh, the uh, the making of this beer and I'm getting down to about half a keg I think I've got left and it is phenomenal and right off the nose you're getting uh, passion fruit I, I'm thinking passion fruit citrus um, get off there fly uh, and um, you know this is not going to be a big deal. I'm just uh, just giving the results of my grandfather brew day, um, and I've got to say, for someone who didn't consider himself a hophead, I think I might be. I think I might be a bit of a hophead because every brew that I've done since this has had minimum 100, 150 grams of hops in total. So anyway, we'll give it a punch in the nose and see what we've got. It's got an upfront bitterness, surprisingly, because it only had 17 grams of Pacific Jade for bittering. It's got an upfront bitter bitterness that dies away by the time you've taken it from your palate to your stomach. Uh, the bitterness has died away and you're left with floral citrus uh, aromas um, on the palate. Um, it is, in my opinion, my best uh, all grain beer that I've made thus far. Uh, but I do have to say, in closing, I've just put down a, a kiwi pale ale that I promised I would do and it is... Uh, original gravity it's not really pale ale I guess because well it's pale in color but uh, it's it's like a seven percent beer I got 80 percent efficiency um, and that was starting at 1.070 um, uh, you know um, and, and it's going to be a fantastic beer. I mean, all grain for the win. All your extract brewers, keep going because you're doing better than the stores can do. But I, I urge you to consider making all grain. Once you've got the equipment, you own it forever as long as you take care of it. It's just a matter of getting the process down. I mean, if you've got a separate mash tun and a separate... Um, uh, boil pot I think personally for me that's the ideal situation because uh, I can clean my mash tun out while I'm getting my boil up to my boil pot uh, my wort up to a boil uh, I can um, you know I can uh, I can clean the mash tun out have that all clean put away done and the only that was the only thing I didn't like about the grandfather is it took me six hours by the time I brewed cleaned up run the sanitizing solution through all the equipment and, and uh, it was I mean it's a good system it's a thousand dollar system it's a good system but my three hundred dollar system does a pretty good job as well and I'm getting 80 percent efficiency so I mean you can't argue with that and that's in Brewers Friend software so it's not me just picking a number out of my head I mean anyway um this if you have not tried the kraken black ipa from the grandfather from mangrove jacks it's an 89 dollar kit i still would do it again because it works out about i don't know three four dollars a liter and if you go to the local bar here in christchurch new zealand you're paying 11 dollars a liter for four percent and this is 6.5 I believe it should have come out 7.2 but the grain bag was perforated and that's why it was donated to me um, you know psh, 
in any way uh, cheers uh, do like and subscribe to my channel um, if, if, it, if it's something you like and uh, see you next time cheers